and to details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi attended on Thursday the graduation ceremony of new batch of cadets of the police academy, during which he mourned police martyrs who sacrificed their lives for the sake of Egyptians. During the ceremony, the president honored distinguished students, granting them medals of excellence of the second class in appreciation of their performance during their academic study. More details in the coming report. President Abdel Fattah Sisi attended on Thursday the graduation ceremony of a new batch of cadets of the police academy. During the ceremony, the president mourned police marchers, saying that they sacrificed their lives for 100 million Egyptians. The president congratulated the graduates and their families. Attending the ceremony were Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli, General Mahmoud Taufi, and Minister of Interior, Speaker of Parliament Ali Abdel Al. This student held a parade to manifest the student's combating skills. During the ceremony, the president honored distinguished students, granting them medals of excellence of the second class in appreciation of their performance during their academic study. The fresh cadets took the oaths to uphold the law and to protect the homeland and its people. In his speech, the Minister of Interior, Mahmoud Taufi, saluted police marchers, saying that the security apparatus has played its role in protecting the country. He noted that the ministry worked on reforming the security system. A minute of silence was observed as the marcher's salute was played in honor of the police marchers. In his speech during the ceremony, head of the police academy, General Ahmed Ibrahim, said that 1,501 students are graduating in this ceremony. He praised all the state institutions for the support given to the academy. He noted that as part of the police academy's efforts to prepare officers for their future responsibilities, a program for raising awareness of challenges facing the country was held. Ibrahim said the program aimed at strengthening the values of their patriotism and protecting the students from extremist ideologies. He warned of the untraditional wars which have their tools for undermining the state. A number of graduates who have relatives of the police marchers address the gathering. Family members of the marchers also spoke about their sacrifices. On the sidelines of a graduation ceremony, Nile TV's international correspondent Ahmed Nader, he conducted the following interview with Muataz Ashraf Abdelazim, who ranked top of the batch. Abdelazim was among graduates honored by President Abdel Fattah Sisi. Uh, the month uh, of October still at the police academy and uh, as we did see in the past years during the history of uh, Egypt, the month of October has also witnessed great victories for Egypt against Israel in 1973 on the 6th of October. On the 15th of October today we are at the police academy and we have uh, the number one graduate of uh, the police academy for the 2020 batch uh, ranked first of course at the top of uh, the lead board Muataz Ashraf Abdul Azim is here with me today and I would like to ask you first about what you have learned in the uh, past years during studying here at the police academy and being here at the police academy in police academy I learned many skills like shooting combat skills uh, these skills uh, make me perfect to uh, to my uh, in my job uh, uh, Yes, of course, and hopefully you'll be having uh, a wonderful career ahead of you uh, after graduating. Um, the second important question today is that President Abdel Fattah Sisi is here and you will be honored by uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi as being ranked first at the top of the 2020 batch from the Police Academy. How do you feel? Uh, I am very proud to be honored by President Sisi. It's my dream uh, when I uh, child. Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Muataz uh, Ashraf Abdul Azim. Thank you very much for being with us today on Line TV International. Shukran. During the same event, Nile TV correspondent Ahmed Nader conducted another interview with Cameroonian cadet Messi Simon, who was honored by President Abdel Fattah Sisi during the ceremony for finishing top of the African students. 
in the month of victory in the month of uh, October as we did uh, celebrate the 6th of October and the great victory by Egypt against Israel on the 6th of October in 1973. Today we have a very special day from uh, the Police Academy and uh, President Abdel Fattah Hassisi witnessing uh, the uh, graduation of a new batch, the batch of 2020 from uh, the Police Academy. A very special day for Egypt, for the Egyptians and uh, for the Africans as well as uh, today I am honored to be having with me on Nile TV International uh, Messi Simon, one of the graduates from uh, Cameroon uh, here in the Police Academy and he will be telling us more about his experience and uh, what he learned in the past year and what he will be learning in the uh, upcoming year and the honoring by President Abdel Fattah Hassisi. Uh, Messi, thank you very much for being with us today on uh, Nile TV International. First of all, what did you learn in the past year at the Police Academy in Egypt and what are you expecting to be learning in the next year as well? Uh, I have to thank first the Egyptian government, the President of the Republic, Abdel, uh, the Her, Her Excellence Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, to the honor he gave us to be here in this academy. Uh, here we are, we are passing here, one year and we are learning many more things and we have to pass another year and we we are uh, we are proud to be here in this year we are pass we learn many many things like uh, shoot gun many type of shoot gun uh, uh, to how to fight terrorism uh, how to do uh, criminal investigation uh, and how to be a, a policeman to support any situation Yes, those are the past experiences that you've had here uh, in Egypt at the Police Academy and this is uh, what you've learned. What are you expecting uh, to be learning and gaining more experience in the upcoming year and when you return back uh, to Cameroon once again? Uh, we are very happy to be here and we learn everything we learn here. I hope when we will back in our country we will maybe uh, teach uh, the other one who to be uh, like us, uh, to be... Uh, to know how to fight any type of problem in the society like terrorism, armed robbery, anything like this. Because here, uh, logistics is enough and we, we learn many, many things. We do. Uh, we have many doctors in police research center who teach us uh, theories. And in uh, 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 police college, we have uh, many practices uh, and many more things we learn. Yes, Messi, you are from uh, Cameroon. How did you see the representation of the African states at the Police Academy uh, in the past year uh, during your experience here at the Police Academy? And uh, how do you see the uh, relations between Egypt and Africa now under the tenure of President Assisi? I have to tell that uh, in the French section, we are six countries. Uh, we don't, uh, before coming here, we don't speak Arabic. But when we are staying here, everything is okay for us. We don't have any problem with uh, Egyptian colleagues. We do the, the same training. We have uh, many, uh, many persons who translate for us, even the student, uh, the, the officer and the doctor and police research center. Many persons here speak with us in French and we don't have any problem to understand what they say. Egyptian, uh, all the Egyptians are, uh, we are, uh, we are proud to be here because all of us, we are brothers and we don't see any, any type of uh, difference between the other one and us. Yes, and today is a very special day, of course, for the whole of uh, the batch, but it is a very special and even more special for you because you will be honored by President Abdel Fattah Hassisi. How do you feel? I feel very happy and very proud to be honored uh, uh, for the President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. It's a very great day for me uh, to, 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 to be here with all these things, to be, to, to be, uh, 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 it's, it's a very good thing for me, I don't know how to say it. Yes, uh, Messi, Simone, thank you very much for being with us today. It's me, I thank you very much. Thank you. 
Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli approved during a mini cabinet meeting on Thursday the suggested projects for developing Siwa Lake with a total cost of 725 million Egyptian pounds. During the meeting, Minister of Irrigation and Water Resources Mohammed Abdul Ati reviewed the means of optimizing the benefits from the agricultural sanitary channels of wa channel waters to be reused in land reclamation. The Prime Minister was also briefed on the planned development of North Coast, which includes reclamation of some 350 acres in Al Hammam and Al Al Alamein cities, uh, along with other 350 acres at Al Daba Axis. French Prime Minister Jean Casté said on Thursday citizens of nine French cities where in nighttime curfew will be imposed from midnight on Friday.